If you are a railway user, you will notice that it isn't just harsh weather that influences operations. Sometimes normal, uh, normal rain or even leaves can leave you stranded for those extra few minutes or hours. Likewise, if you are a railway engineer or operator, certain times of the year are more problematic for scheduling trains than others. Mother Nature brings in the factor of unpredictability, coming with challenges all year round. We will have a look at some of those factors that can cause us delays and disturbances, depending on the weather conditions per season. Meltwater in spring means higher river levels with increased risk of landslides in the subsoil. Melting snow increases the risk of avalanches in mountainous areas. Adequate maintenance and more frequently inspection of the track and drainage systems can prevent further damage to the track. In mountainous areas, snow sheds or avalanche galleries are commonly used. At critical locations, they can protect railway tracks and trains. Summer brings its own set of challenges. Extremely high temperatures might cause thermal expansion of bridges, which obstructs them from opening or closing correctly. The most common method to handle this is by cooling down the construction with sprayed water. Thermal expansion of rails might cause buckling of the rail. This happens if the ballast bed and alignment of the track are in a poor condition. It can also occur if the rail temperature was too, too low during the construction and welding of the track. In the Netherlands, tracks must be assembled at a temperature of 25 degrees, which is the average rail temperature throughout the year. By doing so, the internal stresses in the rail are limited, even in extreme summer and winter conditions. In addition, high internal forces due to thermal expansion can also cause insulated rail joints to fail, especially if they are in a poor condition. This can result in failure or signaling systems. At critical locations, rails are sometimes painted white. This is to prevent them from heating up too much. Finally, the summer season guarantees the occurrence of thunderstorms. Apart from heavy rainfall and wind shear, thunderstorms can cause lightning strikes in the overhead line. Also, damage to the trains and trackside equipment can occur due to lightning strikes. Autumn often comes with stormy weather. In the Netherlands, Strong winds can reach up to 100 km per hour. Falling trees and broken branches can block railway tracks. They can damage catenary systems or even rolling stock. A structural way to prevent this is to keep the track sides clear and of trees. On the other hand, calm weather conditions can cause fog. Heavy fog can disrupt train service because clear visibility is required for the full speed train operations. However, modern safety systems like EATMS are less dependent on weather conditions. These systems do not use visible signs along the track. The drivers are informed via displays in their cabin. Falling leaves crushed between wheel and rail can transform into a slippery substance. This can cause the wheels to spin during acceleration or block during braking. Due to this major damage to tracks and wheels, such a wheel flats can occur. This loss of friction in the wheel-rail contact poses a serious risk for collisions and the possible derailment of a train. The use of adhesion-improving substance like sandite can help to avoid slippery tracks. Water sprinklers can also be used locally to prevent leaves from sticking to the railhead surfaces. Other methods are based on removing leaves from the rail surface, for example by burning them away with laser beams, or by using brushes, high pressure water jets or air blowers mounted on a train. When winter comes, snow and ice can block switches. 
Heating the switch blades with gas burners or electrical heating elements is a common method to prevent this. In addition, glass frost on the catenary system can interrupt the power supply of the electric trains. Especially the modern traction control systems are prone to power failure. Next to that, it is also generate electric sparks that can damage the overhead wire. Scraping the ice from the overhead wire is a common use method. However, this can easily damage the catenary system. Another typical winter problem is drifting snow which can easily block coupling systems, doors, brakes and air inlets of rolling stock. This might result in all kinds of mole functions and disruption of the train surface. Solutions should be found in the design of the trains, although protecting of vital components against drifting snow is not an easy job. Finally, low temperatures can cause broken rails as a result of thermal shrinkage. This often happens in combination with cracks that were already present in the rail. A broken rail will interrupt the signaling system and can cause derailment. It is Mother Nature who has been challenging the railways industry every day over the past 180 years. Where similar issues arise each time, we have to deal with it under an increasing demand and with the higher expectations from travellers. Keeping railway systems running efficiently and without disturbances will be a challenge for both engineers, designers and train operations, today and in the future.